Good morning, I'm Stacey J and this is my studio and today is Vlogmas Day 8. Oh, we've reached Day 8 already. That means I can start wearing the same clothes again. <laughs> Woohoo, 8 days without wearing the same clothes. Okay, I wore the same jeans two days in a row, but you know, you get that on the big day. Um, firstly, I'd like to say a welcome if you have not been here before and welcome back if you have. Um, hang around sometimes we have fun here i did do the cutting out yesterday of today's item of um, interest but i want to tell you what happened to me yesterday afternoon so <clears throat> yesterday afternoon i went to um new world with mum i'm just gonna get my coffee for all those that read my coffee mugs <sighs> of course i took to myself sometimes i need an expert's opinion advice opinion look at me Oh. So, I went to New World yesterday. I had the New World um, Christmas Day. So, it was um, a three day thing. And yesterday was going to be the best day. It was going to be the best day. It was because Lynn was working. Um, that's my friend who got the um, perfume for her birthday. So, let's just call her Lynn. So, when I talk about Lynn, unless I say one of my viewers, actually, she's one of my viewers now. Hmm. Anyway, Lynn, my mate, she um, she was doing a tasting on salmon. And we've tasted the salmon before, I think. I think, I think. In December last year, no, November, when my brother was here, um, we had a wake for Dad. It was um, just people really close, like... Um, like Karina, uh, Queenie came back down, or she was coming down anyway, but um, her and Steve showed up, that's her hubby, for a while. And um, Lynn came, and Lynn brought salmon. She bought the salmon dip, or pate, and she bought the salmon um, meat. Hang on a sec, I'm gonna go, wait a Right, the type of salmon she has, this is really off sidetracked, it's this one. Okay, we all know that I don't speak English, although it's my first language. Auraki? Auraki. Auraki. Anyway, it's a divine. Anyway, so she's doing a tasting on this. Um, Mum and I buy this stuff now because, well, you know. So I was doing a tasting on that. So we went down yesterday. And you got like little cards that Christmas cards where you put money into it and then at Christmas time you have a certain period you can spend these cards and we put money into it every uh, fortnight to um and when I go shopping with the card I, mom goes oh isn't that expensive I say it's free it's free and she goes it's not free and well it is I'm not paying for it I've paid throughout the whole year but it's free at the time so I have no problem buying it you know it's Christmas after all so anyway um I might undies keep going up my bottom thought i'd share that with you guys you're welcome anyway so um and they're not meant to be going up there anyway so <laughs> we went to new world and i had my little card and the cards have changed this year this year it's more like a credit card last year you could just swipe it and you didn't put a pin in or anything and it always concerned me that someone could steal the money that was in there so you need a pin number so I get to the chair. So this is the first time I've used it. Um, and mum said, oh, no, they just do something in the background, blah, 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 blah. And I went, oh, okay. So I went down there. So oh, I haven't used it. And she was, and it came up, pin. And I said, I don't know, pin. She was, oh, I'll just put four zeros. So I did and hit enter. She says, yeah, no, that's not going to work. So she calls someone else. And she goes, well, what are, and I'm like, this time, like the queue is banking up, banking up. And I'm starting to, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Oh my God, I'm holding up people now. And she goes, no, no. I said, look, I do have another number. I'll try it. And she goes, okay, try that. So I did. And you're not so much. So she said, can you make a phone call? Can you call them? I said, yes, I can. She said, here's your, I'll give the receipt to the girl up there. You guys go down there. And so I, Use my mobile and ring, and um, it was a 20 minute wait. So um, I said, Mum said, oh, I'll try mine. And I said, Okay. So she put it up and came up with a pin. And I said, Oh, Mum, put that number in. And she knew which number I talked about because I know her pins. And she said, so She did that, and not so much. <laughs> so, 
In the meantime, I'm starting to... <laughs> brown bag. <laughs> but, um... It's calm on the outside. It's all duck swimming under the... You know. Anyway, so... I said, look, here's my credit card. Just pay, I'll just pay for it, you know. It's just pay for it. I'm holding everyone up. No, don't worry, it's Christmas. No, no, I'm holding everyone up. I'm... So anyway, so I paid for it and Chris has got the trolley because he's standing here waiting with me because he can't steal the goods because if he went out, he's stealing them. And Mum's waiting patiently, like, you know, because um, we just didn't know what was going on. And then as I was leaving, I get tapped on the shoulder and I'm like, going, this girl who'd been walking around giving out lollies, dressed up with, you know, hats and things. Willow, what are you eating? Why do you have to eat everything? I'm not helping that come out. Mm -mm. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so she taps me on the shoulder. And there was a ribbon around this. And she said, um, hi, on behalf of New World, we'd like to give you a gift. We're picking out random people and giving them gifts. I said, sorry, what? Why? What? And she said, oh, no, it's just a random thing. Yeah. Mum and I were talking about it. It wasn't random. They could see me starting to freak out, you know. Anyway, so I got this. And it had a ribbon around it. I don't know where the ribbon's gone. I had a ribbon around it. I had to open it and show people, obviously, Mum at Mum's place. Because Mum just lives just across the road from New World. So I parked there now because it was just crazy. And then, anyway, so this doesn't go on too long. I'm going to show you what I got. I got nuts. I got nuts about cranberry. So it's all Mother Earth. I got, apparently these are really good, sticky date baked oat slices to, to which chris said oh they're healthy because uh you know the muesli bars i looked at i said they're not healthy and he goes i said they're full of sugar and he goes no 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 they're not i said uh i work for good and Thilda. i know what's in a muesli bar um well-being nutritious another bar i guess is oh dark chocolate and blood orange that might be a nightly treat Okay, this is where the fun begins. Caramelized peanut butter almonds. Tangy Sakatra cashews. Um, Victoria would love them. She pulls Sakatra over everything. I probably said that word wrong. Soy mix, tomato and herb. That sounds a wee bit tad boring. This Mr. Christopher, he'll eat those. Now, Donovan's is a Kiwi company. It's uh, started with two brothers, I believe. And Queenie sends me down Donovan stuff. Oh, I'm wrong. It's not Donovan's that you send me, is it? Anyway, Donovan's is a Kiwi company. They make the best mint squares. Um... So the strawberry pavlova clusters, because pavlova comes from New Zealand. And this just made Chris's day. Mother Earth Natural Crunchy Peanut Butter. So that, my friends, was gifted to me yesterday. Wasn't that just nice? From New World at Silverstream. I might have to do, um, put that... But I don't know. I'm going to have to do something because that was just so sweet. I saw, I was there talking to the girl, trying to find the code down at the help desk. And I saw the sign language was she was doing. I don't know what she was saying. But anyway, as far as I'm concerned, I think they gave it to me because I was in a little bit of a flap. So thank you very much, New World, Silverstream. I appreciate it. <laughs> she go down there flap sticking all the time. Anyway, so I went out and the lady said, oh, you got a thing? I said, yes, I did. And sort of gave a brief, but she works there. And she said, oh, we all know you. You come here a lot. And I said, oh, okay. And she goes, you're the, you're the one who dances down the aisles. I said, yeah, I sing too, but let's not tell anyone that. <laughs> yeah, good to be known as that person. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, so today, today is um, going to be a busy day for me, um, so it's 
8 41 i'm in the studio already i've been in here since just before eight excuse me what was i doing oh i was answering i'm still way behind in my comments especially older comments i should get to them first but then it makes the new ones old so um i think i'm yeah i'm getting there so please know that if i haven't commented on yours i will get there you know i'll get there because i like to comment i like the comments so i like to comment back so anyway i'll finish this coffee and i will then um start up with what is on today it's one for the boys let's hear it for the boys let's give the boys a hand movie go tell me what movie that's from if you can make out the singing sorry right now we've gone through what i got from new world oh shivers push it still out i don't want that to go off yum we do love me some salmon all right sorry and i'm back right so today's little adventure is for a um well actually i said a man and you know what nah it's not necessarily for a man um today we are making melvin's necktie melvin's men's necktie so melvin's necktie let's not sex this thing up right so there we go and it is made by and i will say it and i will have to write it down because it says to please add me in i think so i think sew dot com okay so we're going to make that today I have cut out my lining and my the big tie, my lining and my actual fabric. And that's one of the back pieces and another back piece. Now all these are cut on the bias, as you can see. So that'll be cut and that'll be like straight. The bias was as if the grain line was that way. So all three pieces have been cut out. You are also require a little bit of um, twill tape or ribbon. And that is actually for when you tuck the tie in the back. I'll be using my um, um, label. Have you seen the sunny outside today? Sunny. Got it. So anyway, so I have, guess what sort of tie I've gone to have. The naughty little owls they look like they're drunk so um because it's on the bias so i've cut out that and because i got gifted this by one of the girls that nils works with gabby um i got some red satin um what is that oh <laughs> i cut it out the wrong way yeah, note to self, when you're cutting it out, to obviously have the opposite of, you need to um, pattern up one way, pattern up the other way. Okay. Um, oops. So I didn't get that done. So I'm going to make a tie today. Cut it out already. And are you ready? Let's get stitching. So the first thing we need to do is we need to attach the two pieces the three pieces together and it's much like um, attaching bias binding when you're pulling strips of bias binding together okay I'm just gonna because I've pinned it because I do have a bit of a day today right so this piece goes on like that so when it folds back it's going to be straight up like that okay and then you would do again on the right sides you would do the same for that piece and fold that up like bias binding that's about the best way if you've made bias binding you know exactly what i'm talking about if you don't you're looking at me like okay so right now let's go to the sewing machine and whoopie do this up um Oh, and I've got red still over there. I've got my iron on. I've got the red thread over there. See, 
red thread there and um let's go make mr christopher a little elf tie he doesn't wear ties lucky if i can get him in a collared shirt he's a plumber he plums oh i'm going to blow my nose you don't have to watch that i'll i'll stop it Okay, so I am now. Why do I start everything with okay? I'll try and change that. Alrighty then. Sometimes I wonder about myself. <laughs> I have just sewn it all. It's half a centimetre um, seam allowance or six millimetre seam allowance. I round down. Um, unless it's money, then I like to round up. Unless I'm paying, then I round down. But anyway, so I am going to go and iron this. And I shall be back. You don't want to come to the ironing board, do you? Do you? Oh, come on, then. If you insist. Oops. I've got that magic thing again. Oh, that one. The one that makes okay, me do that. Try again. Yeah? Oh, sorry. Are you, though? <laughs> yeah, I'll hold that. Are you? Mm. See you later. Have fun. Mm-hmm. Right. So I just wanted to check if we open the seam allowance or we had it shut. We open it. Okay, let's go down. There. That's us, and we're going to go back to the. Well, that's back to the ironing board. No, we're going to go back to the actual. Um, instructions. There we go. We're going to go to the instructions. I've made this twice. I made one for Alexander when he took Lily to the ball, and I made one for a gentleman who required. Actually, this is not the pattern I use for Alexander. Not the pattern at all. I made one for a gentleman who, um, whose son passed away. Um, still a dog. Come on, guys. No, no. You stirred the hornet's nest. So I'm back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our lining. This is actually the colour of Alexander's tie. Match Lily's dress. And right sides together, we're going to pin the lining and the facing together. I have got my little wrist pin thing on, which is good because I kept trying to stab my hand <laughs> when I was sewing before. It's when you get in the habit of, you know, using it. You sort of don't realise. So um, I did have to go and unpack one of the seam allowances. I stupidly went one centimetre. It's actually a quarter of, an, of a 
uh, quarter of an inch, which is six millimeters in seam allowance. I think I might have just mentioned that anyway. So I'm going to go down and we're going to sew around the pointy. Pointy, okay. Then we're going to trim it to an eighth of an inch of its life. And then we're going to turn it the right sides out. And take this piece of paper with me. We're going to find the next piece. Yep, that's the next piece. Hmm. Rightio, let's go down to Funky Town, which we can call the sun machine. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. Let's take you away from there. I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to sew the point. I'm going to trim it because I've got my trusty Kai scissors here. I love these scissors. And I am going to turn it in the right way. Yeah, I see what it's doing. Okay. I'll tell you. I will, I promise. Let's go down. Both ends. Big end, little end. They both needed to be sewn down. It's a little bit off target. I have ironed them, okay, as well. The next step is to fold it in half. You fold it in half with your outside fabric facing. I'm just going to poke this little sucker out a little bit more. He looks not as sharp as I want him to be. Not the sharp stool in the shed. Okay, so I'm going to put my little arrows to arrows and pin her in. How about you look at what I'm doing? Ooh. So I'm going to pin this nicely along. Try and get the um, lining up with the fabric. Okay, otherwise the, the lining is actually going to bow out. If you wanted to, if you felt uncomfortable, you could um, do a stay stitch all the way down it so that it sort of held it. See if you notice that, that's... Not happy with that. Pull that lining up as well. Remember what I say, don't let the fabric manipulate you, you manipulate the fabric. <laughs> there we go. I almost sounded like Santa going, oh, oh, oh. So I've already um, started to pin my seam allowances, okay? So I'm not my seam allowance. It's my um, joints. I'm going to put you on. I'm trying to think of that that saying they use when they go hyperdrive. Hypodrive? Oh, I don't know. One of the space things. I know I've got a tricky, not a tricky, <gasps> blasphemy, a um, Star Wars person um, who writes to me. Quite often get the Yoda comments. Oh, do you guys know I'm wearing my... Ferntail dress, courtesy of the Sewing Revival. 
Yep, okay, that's enough of that, yeah? I'll put you on speed. down it's got that nice little twist that um what's that thing called vice does i'm just going to trim off my little knobs i'm hoping my bowls from briscoe's show up today unsmashed wouldn't that be good we'll open them together then I got it on film. <laughs> right, I'm going to go to the ironing board. I'm going to use my little special knob thing, my little rod thing to iron this out because it's a narrow. Right, let's go down. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, it's not going to go off my face. So I need it to go down my face. That's better. Right. I think if I double tap it, it goes off my face. Right, so see this? It's a silicone heat resistant. Heat resistant clover ironing pressy thingamajiggy. Okay, a scummy. Otherwise known as a scummy. What is a scummy? Whatever you need it to be when you don't know what. It's a bit of a tight fit. Do I look a tiger? Like a tiger. Okay, there. So I was thinking, what was I thinking? Oh, yes. One of my other projects happens to be something that my friend Lynn actually wants. So I'm just trying to, I was sitting there sewing and thinking, as women can do. I only say that because Mr. Christopher is really not good at two things at once. And yes, I did categorize all men be the same. Sorry about that. But so I was thinking while I was sewing, I'll just try and avert myself from being in a big deep hole by saying what I was saying. Um, Um, trying to think of something or fabric that Lynn likes. Now, it's for the kitchen, and although her kitchen's got greys in it, her favourite, her favourite thing is a um, Pahutakawa tree, or as my nana used to say, Pahutakawa. So a Pahutakawa tree, which is much like the little brush from Australia. <laughs> Here's something funny. Now, I, I don't know if you know that I've teased, I think I've told you guys, we tease Chris because he's colorblind. And we don't do it in a nasty way, we do it in a teasing way. Um, and, and he will say, if I say, what do you think of this colour? He'll go, he'll look at me, really, are you asking me about colours? So the thing in the house is all plumbing parts 
uh, chosen by him. So if it's a tap wear and things like that, he chooses it, but I do the color scheme. Because we would end up with some hideous stuff from a man who thought peanut butter was green. So um, he had no idea there were red flowers in the Pahutakawa tree. So two, obviously two of his colors that he has issues with is the red and greens together. Obviously they have tints in them that are very similar. As you make green with using red. Do you not or do you? You do. So, yes, so I tease him a bit about that. But yeah, what a shame though, not being able to see the beauty of a Pahuta Kawa tree. Anyway, so what I was saying is that's one of Lynn's favourite trees. And um, I have in the past bought her for her birthday um, a Pahuta Kawa bowl or plate. She loves birthdays. I hate birthdays, like well, other people's birthdays, sure, my own, not so much. And people say, well, you know, better than the alternate. Yeah, cool, awesome. But I don't like birthdays, not mine, other people's. I like other people's, that is. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a bodkin. And I am going to pinch my little bit of fabric. Now, <laughs> let's go like this. Get that bodkin down. Oh, oh. oh, it's not gonna. Don't break the bodkin. Don't break the tie. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Don't do that. Right. Do it this way, idiot. It suggests a um, paper, uh, paper clip, a safety pin. But of course, when you've got you know tools that you're meant to use. Can you grip, put your little mouth on that. Put your mouth on it. Get it in there. That's it right now. Push that down. Oh, guys, come on. I'm not having much luck with this bodkin. And down. No. It's not going in the hole. I hate that. Right. So when you have the tools of the trade, <laughs> you can't work it because it's not working. Oh, let's put this out too. Let me just re-iron that. I'm going to go and get the old faithful safety pin. And I'm going to turn it in the right way. Okay. Be it with. Right, here we are. All turned in the right way. Okay, and I'm just gonna not press on it, like not press down the iron on it, but I'm gonna, oh, the pin's still attached, that's what that noise was. I'm just gonna steam up it so it knows where it's meant to lay and just give it a little pat down. Not a police pat down, just a pat down, but we almost have our little tie. How fast was that puppy? It took me longer to, what's that thing called? Cut it out. So, you know, if you wanna go out to a wedding and you made your dress and you want your hubby or your partner, whatever you wanna call them, to wear the same, well, you know, match you. So no one steals them on the night. Unless, of course, you want them stolen and don't make a matching tie because 
they'll know he's with you. You can make him a tie. I just think it's quite cute. Oh, it's a bit twisted, sister. That should go in the centre, shouldn't it? Yes, do see John, it should. It's not, it's not playing the game. Ouch! Ow! <laughs> okay, my glass is fogged up. You know, it's steam that is, you know, your most best part of doing your ironing. Oh, I think this is quite cute. I do. I'm just going to go and get my label. And um, my Stacey J labels are not with my other funky monkey labels. Right, I'm going to put this dub me back in there. I've got my bodkin here that almost got munted. Her back away. Ouch, I did hurt my finger. Right, turn that around the right way. So you got these little these little labels. Did I ever tell you about the man frock? The man frock is it? What are you doing, pedal? Don't know what Mabel's up to. Up to trouble, no doubt. So I'm going to fold that end up just a little bit. Maybe I should have got two. The man frock is an invention that Mr. Gibbs did. I should say Mr. Christopher did during lockdown 2020 he had a top from Mykos, which is a plumbing ish i think department shop here that plumbers go to and um hey i think it goes like that look at that it's like a bought one and um it shrunk in the wash shrunk in the wash and I, um, he wanted to design another one. So every day I was making something for me because, well, nobody was allowed in my studio because I wasn't essential. And even though he was a plumber, he didn't go to essential because, well, we didn't know what was going on. And he worked for himself, so we're good. And, um, he, uh, oops, where are you, where are you going? Where are you going? Up here, up here, up here. So, and he designed, he pulled apart this Mykos top and he said, how do I, how do I do this? So, um, interrupted my entire day while I helped them. Okay. Place the ribbon onto the back side of the tie, nine to ten inches away from the wide bottom. Fat bottom girls, you make the rockin' world go round. Do the running stitch to make a tie holder. Do, do the running stitch to make a tie holder to each end of the ribbon with the back part of the tie. Do not stitch to the front part of the one. I knew that. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. And, uh, yeah, so he designed this thing he calls a man frock. And I made a couple for my dad. I made one for my dad, sorry, I lied. And then mum made one for dad. I'm going to use white cotton. White cotton, eh? We don't want to see this. And, um, yeah, so, and you know what? I should measure whether it's 10, 9 to 10 inches. There's another white. Oh, I'll use this one because it's half fallen out. Um, 9 to 10 inches. I need a bit of, I need this specific, not particular, specific. Oh, oh, too many tape measures are eating each other. Right. 
Okay, so it needs to be up higher. I'm not a good judge on inches. Okay, so I'm going to ow, hand sew this on. Again, Steph, avert your eyes, my friend. <laughs> okay. Ciao, bellas. I'll be back. Guess what? I have a tie. I don't know how to tie a tie. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Any words you want to call me, go right ahead. One comes to mind. One does come to mind. Chris only ties Windsor knots, double Windsors. But boys had to wear. Boys had to wear ties to school. Well, Samuel still does. Victoria does, but hers is on a on a um what's that thing called? On a springy thing. So it was a go over that way. No, no, it starts off with over, doesn't it? Round. I think it's gonna take me more time to tie it so one goes over that way and it goes over that way and it wraps around and wraps around and it goes over that way if not i've just made a new tie tie i'm gonna go with yeah no hang on i know how to tie it I don't know how to tie it. Stand by, call it. I don't know how to do it. Ta da! Right. This is my naughty little owl's tie. So this is day eight. Shall we go through? Shall we go through the products? Go through what we have. So so it's now 10.30. What time did I start? I started at 8.45. So just whip that up. And I did things in between. I actually, um, I have done things in between. Like I did chat to mum about something. I was having a giggle about, so I had to chat to mum about it. And then my friend Johnsey, she wants to catch up this weekend to find out what's happening on Christmas Day. Because I don't have the children on Christmas Day. I may have told you this. Um, they were with their father this year. And I do Christmas 
but then I think I think Haley might have sent over Russell because I'm doing some serious noises in the background here. Anyway, so um, so they're going to come over this weekend to talk about what's going to be happening on Christmas Day, like food-wise. Chris will be making a um, You know what I hate the most about getting old is, is the brain fog. I don't know what to eat to make the fog go away. Maybe I just need to steam out the air. He's making me mass brisket. He makes it really good. Hates it being made at lunchtime because it's, um, it... He, he has to coal it up and the brisket's ready when the brisket's ready apparently and sometimes that doesn't help our appetite because we're starving but um yeah so brisket and possibly ribs and he said something about pork but the last time i, I had he cooked it was oh god it tasted good but my belly was like a, oh, that's a little bit too rich for your um for you <laughs> obviously i'm poor okay i'm just gonna get the basket of goody goodies touch base again with what we've done in case this is the first time you're tuning in and you decide to watch day eight because why not right i don't mind it's up to you so we've got day eight here is the tie i think i will press it firmer it's a little bit too bellowy for my liking day seven is uh, the macrame do you guys say Pergola or a pergola? Again, it's I think it's where you live, but we've said like we grew up in Australia with a pergola that we used to have our barbecues under, and um, yeah, somebody here because they were talking about mum's pergola, and I'm like laughing and laughing because I've heard pergola, and I'm going, oh, what's a pergola? Anyway. So I've got the macrame upstairs with a bowl in it at the moment. It's looking pretty nitty ditty. I might take a photo and pop that into this time slot. And we had um, our leg warmers. Okay. I think I need to probably put them on and get a better photo of me in them because that was a real fast photo when I was doing it by myself. Okay. Then I had, I believe it's the pot holder was... Um, Eight, seven, six, day five was the pot holder. Do you think I've got a lot of this fabric? I keep using it. I have got a lot. Bought a couple of years ago. Had a lot. I was going to make um, the dinner place settings around the table to uh, replace my Lorraine Lee. But I didn't think it was classy enough for that. So I didn't do it. Plus I ran out of time. Um, then we did the hat. The sun hat. Which I think is pretty. Pretty red. Don't I look pretty in my little hat? My bonnet. Okay, so there is that. Oh God. Probably made my hair look better putting the hat on it. Um, which is made out of my daughter's old jeans that she was binning to the Salvation Army. Then we made the pot holder. So this is the third day of Christmas, Vlogmas. The second day of Vlogmas. And I'm feeling a bit chilly really in my fern bird dress. Was our wrist warmers. To which I made three pairs because they were like fast to whip up. One, dos, tres. Okay. And I'm really sorry if I smash the French language then. And of course, the drunk moose wine bottle holder still think it's a moose right so those are so far the eight days of vlogmas that i have handed out i can't believe i just remembered to say vlog then we have whew, 24 subtract 8 17 days to go i know that's not the right maths but it's all right. It is right. 
I think it's right. So then I'm going to tuck them all. Oh, I'm going to press the tie first properly, aren't I? Okay, so if I don't get back on board today, because I'm going to do some work, I want you guys to what? Stay safe, warm and dry. Keep cool and keep on sewing. And don't forget, don't say anything that you wouldn't want to hear yourself about yourself. Have a fantastic diddly diddly day day. And it's 10.30. And i got to see what's on for tomorrow. Hang on, let's just have a look. Are we back on target? Oh. Yes, back on target. I know what's on for tomorrow. I should prep for that. I need some Bahutakawa fabric. I think I need to go to somewhere. I know where somewhere is. Okay. I'm going to go, guys, um, and I might come back on. I'll press my tie and put that in the group of gifts. Here's a big look at it. Look at it. Here it is. Look at that. It's looking good, eh? What am I going <laughs> to am I going to do with it all at the end of this? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Cool. See you guys.